<laughs> I want to kill myself. I want to throw this review away. It's so bad. What happened to doll reviews? <laughs> You may notice that this is a little different than usual because I'm doing something a little different than usual. Um, that's, I mean, that's where my namesake comes from, right? Um, <laughs> so hi, everyone. <laughs> I know it's been a while. Um, and I wanted to make a video. I've wanted to make a video um, for a while. I just haven't really known what to do. Um, obviously, this is not the best shot for what I'm showing off, but um, we'll get in a little closer and look around. Um, I haven't really been collecting too much lately. Um, well, Barbies anyway. I, uh, I don't know. I go through phases. I don't know if, if you other collectors do that or not, where, you know, like for a few months or more, you just don't collect anything. Um, and you're content with what you have in terms of Barbies or whatever, or you you just aren't feeling it. You know what I mean? Um, so I've been going through that a little bit. I do that every once in a while. I, I take my breaks and, um, I like other things. I, I know I've kind of talked about that a little bit on this channel that I, you know, collect horror films and I'm sure I've mentioned that. Um, and I also like Lego and Playmobil stuff. So um, today we're going to look at a Playmobil set, which will be interesting because there are channels that do this far better than I do. Um, but that's okay. We're just going to look at it because it's cool and fun. And um, there isn't even, I think there's like a, a review in, I want to say like Korean on here. Like there's a, definitely a review in another language on here, but there's not one in English to my knowledge, um, and yeah, I don't know. This is a whole new thing for me, so strap in. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but first, I mean, let's look at this gigantic box. I don't even know how you'll be able to see this, and it's kind of dark. Like, this, my house is a little dark. That's why I usually film in the bathroom, but we cannot, like, it's not going to happen. So, um... This, this, this box is way too big to be in this shot. But this is this box. Today we're going to look at a couple different sets. Um, and they are from the Playmobil City Life uh, line. And so they are a part of like the, what is it, the rainbow. Does it even say on here what this is? I know it's what it's called. It's called the rainbow daycare. But I don't even think it says that on here. So... And it's kind of weird that it's the rainbow daycare because when you think about it, it's really not much to do with a rainbow, but that's okay. There's a lot of like farm kind of things going on. It's very like wildlife friendly. Um, but yeah, um, that's what it's called. It's called the rainbow daycare. Um, a little backstory. When I worked at Toys R Us like forever ago, um, I remember we had a really good like Playmobil section and... Um, well, when I was a kid, I really, I only had a couple of Playmobil sets. I didn't have that many. Um, I was more into Lego, but I always thought Playmobil were cool. Um, it's just kind of like quality things sometimes. I feel like, uh, you know, if something's kind of cheap, you, or it breaks or whatever, you just kind of like, eh, I don't want any more of that. You know what I mean? And when you're a kid, you're tougher with things anyway. Um, but I... Yeah, anyway, when I worked at Toys R Us, they had a, a, a daycare that I really liked. I think it was like the Sunshine Daycare or something. Um, and when I was interested in actually getting them, when I got into Playmobil stuff, uh, they didn't have it anymore. They weren't making it anymore. So, um, and then Toys R Us went out of business. <laughs> and in my area, I really can't find Playmobil stuff. So, there's my cat. She's running around. If you hear, like, running around, it's my cat. She's playing with a ball and going nuts. Um, but uh, in my area, there really isn't anywhere to buy Playmobil. Like, the Walmart around here doesn't really carry it. Um, Target doesn't carry it. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. But, you know, it is what it is. So um, 
without further ado, let's like, I don't know, take a look at this stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to be looking at three different things and I'm going to show you, um, the first thing right now. Okay. So the first set that I'm going to show you right now, I do not have integrated into the play set with the rest of everything else because it is like an order only like kind of thing. It didn't come in a box. It came in a baggie. If you order direct from Playmobil, a lot of stuff is available that way and they're exclusive to the site. Um, and yeah, so basically this playset right here is a substitute for this playset right here. And essentially in the baggie came this wall piece. Oops, I'm knocking stuff over. Oh no. I, it came with this wall piece right here, the floor, and this green piece right here. And then there's also a little edge piece that if you don't have the main thing, you can hook it to that so it's not like ugly looking. Um, and I actually have, <laughs> forgive how messy it is over here, but see, we have it right here like that. So that is what this comes with. And it, I don't think it, maybe it was like the nap room or something. I think that was the name. Um, and none of these things have names on the boxes as far as I can tell. I can't really, yeah, it just has like a number. So, um, but first we have a cute little table and chair. Um, and these little white pieces like snap in there. See, that's the thing with Playmobil that I really like. The thing with Lego that I am not so much into is all of the little things and you can build it when, I don't know, it's, and they're so little, it's just harder to enjoy, I guess. But the thing with Lego is that things can hold, like they, you know, have the grip and everything and like this stuff kind of just falls over sometimes, so if you're really setting up a diorama, you might need some like hodgepodge or whatever it's called. Um, but anyway, we have some little sleeping mats in three different colors. We have a little toy box with a bunch of little toys. Well, it's really not a toy box. It's more like a little crate, a little orange crate. Um, and we have some, we have like a, a puppet. And it has a, a little thing on there so the figures can hold on to him. Forget how grimy my nails look right now. <laughs> uh, we have two different dolls that are kind of the same, but it's interesting. This one has more detail on it than this one does. So go figure. Um, these little things right here go to the green thing. I thought it was worth noting, like over there, you'll notice that there's like a star and a circle and those kind of like loop through there um and the exclusive one it comes with these so there's even exclusive pieces um we have some little papers that have been colored or painted on um some pencils in two different colors we have a couple different books we have a light blue teddy bear a bright orange teddy bear a yellow sitting doll um i don't know what these two things are supposed to be they kind of look like bookends, <laughs> but I know that's not what they are. Um, they're just little toys, and one is like a, um, a hedgehog and one's a snail. And then we have this little thing that looks sort of like a fish. Um, it's like a, a very blobby looking fish, but um, I'm sure it's supposed to be a fish. We have a little car, and actually you have to assemble it. These little wheels come out. Um... So we have some exclusive little figures here. I know they're not exclusive because these little babies have been in other sets. I'm actually pretty sure they were in other the other daycare set. Um, so we have a little boy and a girl. We have the worker at the daycare. And we have two babies. And they're cute. And I love these babies because they can hold things. Uh, that's That's something I really like about the newer stuff. Uh, sometimes they use the older ones, but uh, the molds that can hold little things are really cute. So this is another place that we have right here. This is like the children, I forget what it's called, but it's, it, they're playing dress up essentially. I mean, you could use these as Halloween costumes if you wanted to at some point, but that's basically what this is. It comes with this little paper mat. Um, we have 
a knight's helmet and the little feather goes in there. We have a crown. I hope this is focusing okay. The lighting is awful and I'm sorry. We have a shield. We have a sword. And we have this fan. Also, this is see-through and it can close like that. We also have this skirt that comes in, in half. I'm not even going to try to do it right now, but you understand. You can see the hinges on it. <laughs> you see where it comes out. Um, and, and these two little bows come off, and there's just little, like, holes there to stick them in. Um, we have a ghost costume, which is really cute. And I think it might actually glow in the dark. Don't quote me on that, though, but I think it might actually do that. Um, do I have the box handy? Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> of course. Um, I haven't tried it, though, so... But it looks like it would. It's really cute either way. It just slips on the characters. Um, we have this little boy, and I have him dressed in the devil costume. And he has a little zebra on his shirt with sunglasses, which I think is cute. Um, we have this little girl dressed as a witch. She has a cape and a hat. And of course, all of these things come off, so you can change their costumes around to make them whatever you want. Um, and we have this little boy dressed as a beautiful princess fairy. Um, and the, the little skirt is so interesting, but I feel like it doesn't, I don't know, it wants to, it, it, it was a challenge for me to get it on there. I don't, I don't know why, but it, it was, um, <laughs> and it has, um, a matching little hat, of course, and then some wings, but he's really cute. <laughs> Okay, so this is the retail version of the nap room playset that I previously showed you. And I think it's called like the nursery or something or the baby room. Um, you know, I, I can't remember. And there's no names on the boxes, of course. Um, but that's what it is. And this is the one that you would find in a store. Um, but anyway, so this one comes with three characters. We have the teacher right here who's blonde and holding a spoon. Um, we have this cute little ginger child who is wearing a bib and holding a rattle. And then we have this other little baby over here who is holding like a teething ring or something. And again, I love these little babies because they can actually hold the accessories. Um, we also have a high chair with what looks like a stork or some sort of like a seagull. It looks like they have a fish in their mouth. I'm not really familiar with, with the species of birds. And also it's, you know, it's a drawing, but um, yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, we also have a, let me see. It's, I'm like looking at my hand and looking at the camera. And um, we have a little uh, jar of baby food right here and it looks to be carrots. Let me tell you something. These stickers are a pain in the butt to get on sometimes. And um, one thing that I don't really like about them is, well, there's a lot of them and sometimes they're really big and we'll get to that with this behemoth over here. Um, but some of these littler ones are such a pain in the butt. I actually had to super glue the edge of it. And I always do that with Playmobil stuff because it wants to peel. There's actually a um, an accessory that we're going to look at soon that is peeling. I'm going to have to fix it. It was fine. And so I left it and I, yeah, anyway, um, we have what looks like a little like top, like a, like a spinning top thing. See, <laughs> it's already doing it. Um, we have a basket and another sitting pink baby doll in there. Baby doll. Um, we have another one, a little snail bookend looking things. We have a changing table with a cute little uh, like mobile thing on it. And uh, it does kind of move a little bit, but it's, it's stiff. So it's not very practical. <laughs> um, 
We have something here in a jar, and I really don't know what this is supposed to be. It just says baby on it. Maybe it's a jar of babies. I really don't know. Um, we have what looks like a baby powder over here. And again, this could be like, like baby, like cream or something, or I really don't know. Just has, and the focus is not working. But we have like pictures of babies all around it. I don't know what that's supposed to be though. I really don't know. It doesn't say in the instructions like this is a blah, blah, blah. Like it doesn't tell you. You just kind of make it up. Um, which is kind of fun, you know. <laughs> we have a, a tan bear. We have one of these little, I don't even know what this is called, but you know what it is. I mean, you see it, you know what it is. A baby lays and plays under it and whatever. Um, we have these. This one actually moves really well. This one doesn't. I had to put stickers on it. So they're shiny. There's a little rabbit on there. Um, and here is this thing in action. We have it where, like, this is like, this makes me think of a doctor's office. I feel like there's always stuff like this in a doctor's office. <laughs> and this set also came with a little potty chair. Or it could be one of those little things where you, like, sit the baby in there and, like, teach it to sit up. But um, I don't know. I, I just assume that it's a potty chair. Um, and, again, this set comes, like, it's just this little piece right here. This little circular kind of piece. And uh, it snaps right onto the main place up. Um, so speaking of the main play set, um, I will show you the outside as well, but we're going to start inside and, uh, show off all of that first. But the outside actually is a play set too. Um, it actually, ha it's not, you know, just like a facade. It's, it's really cool how you, it kind of like Lego, you can make a city with this stuff if you wanted. There's Penny running. <laughs> um, so first off right here, we have this cute little boy and he is wearing a purse and sandals. <laughs> His purse has like a bug on it or something. <laughs> it's really interesting, but I thought that he needed a little purse. That would be cute. He's me at daycare because that was me. I remember putting on like the dress up clothes and um, running around and I'm pretending I was Dorothy and all of my teachers were calling me Dorothy. And, um, I remember my, my dad came and he was so mad. Oh my gosh. But anyway, enough of my childhood drama. <laughs> so he is here at the table, which has four chairs. Um, and he has two little guests here. He has like a, what looks like a doll with like feathers. It's very like Native American looking. Um, I don't know what in the world, like it, it's very random for this playset, honestly, but so we have that little friend there and we have a brown bear right there. We have, so actually I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know if this is supposed to be like, like a, a kitchen that you play in or a kitchen that's real because it is like the same height as the dolls or well, the figures, you know, like it could be either or honestly, like I, I'm going to say that it's pretend, but if you wanted to pretend that the, the workers are making the kids lunch, like you could easily do that. Um, but anyway, so there's some food here. We have a couple of like weird slices of, I don't know if it's like supposed to be meat with stuff on it or what, or maybe it's like wood and you have like painted on food. Cause I know that's something at daycare. Like I remember food like that, like play food that was wood and was painted to look a certain way, you know? So I don't know what they're supposed to be exactly, but there are four pieces of them here and they're all different. Um, we have two cups here. And actually there are two other cups elsewhere in the play set. There is one in the sink and another one that you'll see soon. Um, we have a, uh, crap. What is that called? A t like a teapot. Duh. Hello. I'm a little teapot. We have a basket underneath. If I can get this out without knocking everything over, I will show you that there are extra plates and spoons in there. And I think I actually got one extra spoon and plate because there are not five chairs or five cups. So I think I got an extra, but they're being displayed in here. 
Um, so, oh, and there's also a pot, and of course the top comes off. Um, over here in this little area, we have a fun little sticker, which was really fun to get on, let me tell you. Thankfully, I didn't have to put the window sticker on. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would have been awful. We have another one of those little, like, weird fish things, the toys. Um, we have a little box with books in it, and I'm sorry, it's going out of focus. We also have another drawing of a snail. Let me see if I can pull this out and show you. So there we go. And the books have stickers on them that you have to do yourself. And they have little different themes on them. So there's that. We have some little blankets underneath there. And it's just like little felt pieces. We have what I assume to be a little like pencil box. And I do have, you have to put the sticker on it. It's a little bunny rabbit with some carrots. Um, and we have like a pen and a pencil in there. And they're blue. And we have a guitar. And on this side of the wall is one of the worst stickers to put on this stupid freaking place. <laughs> that was so difficult to put on. Um, and they want to like adhere too soon and there's bubbles and you're like, no, please stop. You know, I, I had to take that off like two or three times. So it was pretty annoying. And you'll know with some of these place that's like, there's a lot of shadow going on because there's so much detail. They really do make it like you're inside of this little building. Um, which I think is really cool, but it's also challenging when you're trying to light it for a, for a, for a review on YouTube. Um, and you're not, you know, a sophisticated YouTuber. Oh wait, no, I am. I'm just kidding. So we have some giant blocks here and they're supposed to be like, you know, you can build little things with them. Oops. <laughs> I'm so good at it. You see? Um, but yeah, you could stack them however you want, literally however you want. Um, and they're two pieces that you stick together. So over here we have some little girl painting um, and teacher watching. So again, we have some of those same exact, unfortunately, um, stickers of like, you know, a bow with a mushroom and all of that. The same things that we saw in that exclusive set. Um, and they're just little stickers that you put on these like pages. We have another uh, pencil box here. This one has a bee design and it's yellow and inside I also have some extra little pencils and uh, a pen. And we have this little girl who is doing some painting and she has a little bow accessory in her hair. Um, this piece is so funny because it could also be like a makeup piece if you wanted to do like a makeup palette. <laughs> Uh, but it's supposed to be the paints and it closes and it says Playmobil on the other side and it's rounded so they can carry it in their hands. Like this stuff is just very cool. Um, oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I mean. They're very easy to knock over. Um, and so she also has a little bow cause there's an extra one. <laughs> so I put it in her hair too. They were playing salon. I don't know. Um, we have this little girl and she is also holding a paintbrush and she is going to throw that paper airplane over here into the baby section and hit that poor woman, but that's okay. She works there. She gets paid to deal with these kids. Um, <laughs> there's another one of the cups that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there is another race car. This one is in blue. Um, over here we have like the coat room kind of thing. And you see all my little, uh, like pamphlets and things and instructions that came with all these sets. Cause I'm very unorganized. I'm sorry. Um, we have a, another purse hanging up on this coat rack that does come out. I'm not going <laughs> to, I knocked, I knocked the characters over again. Um, but this does come out, like it comes out of there so you can mess with it. Um, uh, but I'm not going to do that. You can take my word for it. Those yellow little things right there are, um, are actually stickers and there's like a, a giant water bottle up there and a book bag that clips onto their backs. And then over here we have like 
a phone, like a reception era, era area um, with built-in shelves, which are really neat. Um, there's like, you know, books there, like, like binders. Um, and those don't open or anything, but they're really neat. And there's another, there's like a green hedgehog piece and then a phone, which you have to put the sticker on. And it, it's weird because like, it's supposed to be like a home phone, but you pick up the receiver too when you pick it up. So I don't know. I'm knocking all these kids over these poor kids. <laughs> um, and oh, this sticker was fun too. And so, actually, I'm going to say this, like, maybe I'm wrong, but if you are interested in this, if you're somebody that's not watching this because you watch my videos normally, and you're actually interested, I mean, maybe some of you like Playmobil, I don't know, but um, if you're actually interested in this, I want to let you know, like, it tells you to put these walls in beforehand, before you put these stickers down, I don't recommend that you do that. <laughs> um... Like, especially with this one over here, because it's so hard to, if, I don't know, I had such a hard time with it. Maybe other people won't. Maybe people are better at putting stickers on than I am. But, um, yeah, I did not have a good time doing that, <laughs> especially this one. This was the worst sticker of this playset. This was hands down the worst one. And I was very frustrated. Um, and I almost didn't even put it on, to be honest with you. I get really frustrated with stickers. That is something I do not like doing. Um, and anytime that I open something on this channel um, and it has a bunch of stickers, like a playset, like I'm not going to show you that footage because none of you will like me if you, if you watch me put stickers on. Um, so, because I just, I get so mad. <laughs> I cannot stand it. Um, I turn into the Hulk, actually. So I don't, I don't want anyone to see it happen. Um, but that is a sticker and it looks really cute, but it was totally a pain. Anyway, so we have a bathroom over here and it's really cute. Actually, um, so these stalls, this literally, this piece just comes out. So we'll just look at it this way. That way it's easier. Um, so these open up. Of course they have cute little ducks on them as we see. Uh, there is a shared toilet paper roll in the middle. There are two toilets. They're obviously small because they're intended for children. So here we are. And they just snap on there and they have a little toilet brush that goes with them so you can clean up that poop. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I wish this bathroom did have a little more privacy, but it makes it easy for you as a, as a human to get in there. Um, we have a little sink with a mirror. And so two pieces that snap together. We have a cup and a toothbrush we have two others over here and we have the toothpaste that i like i said i had another piece that's peeling the sticker right there that's it i gotta take care of that <laughs> um so actually um let's take a look outside okay so we're outside of the rainbow day here maybe this is why it's the rainbow because they're Roy G. Biv. Um, <laughs> so we have a cute little garden over here. I love this. I honestly didn't even notice all of this stuff on the website. Um, so we have a cute little watering can that we can water. And actually, there this my set came with an extra one. I don't know if they're supposed to. Um, this, you know, is like a cute little vegetable garden. This pops right out. You could make them some lunch with it. I don't know. Like, it's just so cute. Um... We, I just love the detail. We, I also put this out front. Um, so there's a bucket and a mop. I'm just kidding. Um, there's a bucket and a little shovel and like little rakes. You can dig up some, I don't know, some treasure out front of the daycare. I don't know. Make a, make a mud pie. <laughs> I don't know why they would be playing out in front of the daycare, but maybe they snuck away to do that. I don't know. It's really cute. There's this bush that you assemble. You just snap these two pieces together and stick it in the dirt, just like any tree. Um, <laughs> there's a, a little bush here with some cute little flowers on it. Um, we have a circular window. And this was not easy to get in there either for some reason. It wasn't wanting to snap correctly. I, I don't know. Anyway, I have a hard time with things. I'm sorry. Um, we also have some cute little lights. I wish these actually lit. That would be so cool. But you know what? There is something that does light up. So hopefully I can actually get this to work. 
So we have a cute little light and a doorbell. And this stays on for two minutes, the light. So, I mean, it's interesting that there's a doorbell at the daycare, but don't overthink it because it's a cute little detail. <laughs> um, but anyway, there's a cute little sign up here with some children on it. Um, and it is also a sticker and it was not as hard to get on as some of the other ones. These doors are kind of, they can be a little hard to open. Um, they can go either way. It doesn't really matter, but yeah, they can be a little hard to, to open. Um, over here we have just some more plants and that kind of thing. We have another bush. We have a little butterfly. We have another little flower section and some some like I don't know some pink bells I don't, I don't know <laughs> I don't know flowers I'm playing mobile sorry um we can see the detail on the window a little better but mine actually has some scratches on it which I don't love um and actually I did want to bring up something so my set came with like there's a radio and my set actually came with two front pieces instead of a back one and they do not fit that way. <laughs> like it doesn't, it doesn't work. So I know I'm not really trying right now, but yeah, it, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to have to like, see if I can somehow do get, get my correct piece. I don't know. But, um, that has been the Playmobil daycare. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know that it was a little different from what we're used to doing around here. Um, but I hope nonetheless that it was fun for you to look at something new. And um, if you're new here, hi. <laughs> They're not all this crazy. Well, no, they are. They are. They're just not always this unorganized and unsure of themselves. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this anyway. And um, I will see you guys later. Bye. Mwah. I feel like I am not good at this at all.